Welcome back to the channel. Today we're in special company today. We got Keith and Christine from 4 Before Explore with their absolute one of the very last few single cab cruisers that are pre-DPF built in June 2016. So while we were here, we're going to take the opportunity to do a rig run round, rundown of this absolute weapon of a cruiser that goes all over Australia because these two are lucky enough to be traveling all the time. So thanks for doing this for us guys. You're um, do you want to give us a quick rundown on, I guess we might start from the front, starting with the bar work. Yeah. Um, it's it's a factory Toyota? Factory Toyota, yeah, but we're going to be changing that shortly. So what's what size wheels and tires are you running? 85, 75s, Two of, a 16. On a 16 inch rim, so it's still, yeah, because on my, my cruiser I'm having problems, but I've got a Toyota bar too and it rubs. ARB Solace lights? Yes. By the nine inch? Yes. And you find them good. We've got the adjustable dimmer inside. Yeah. yeah. So nice. we start off with them on the dimmest just for the roads, obviously. And then when you're out bush, then you can turn them up a bit. Yeah. The and range. then what uh, what what winch are you running? Uh, one twelve thousand. Got you out of trouble. Yeah. Twelve ton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know, we've used it twice on this last trip. Once for us, and once for a guy that dropped into Eli Creek. He's back end. Oh you know, really? Brand new Range Rover. <laughs> Excellent. Um, can we pop the engine and have a look? Well, have you done much in there? The fans on the uh, intercooler. I'm a J Max oh, the brake, brake booster. booster. Yeah. Brake lines, bigger discs on the front and back. Slotted discs. How, how do you find, sorry, the brake booster? Because that's something I haven't done yet. Is that a good a good mode? It, the work, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's a funny feeling because you, you don't get that. You don't get that foot pressure back on yourself. Yeah, okay. You know when you press hard on the brake? Yeah. You don't get that. And at first it's a bit dis like your brakes out there, but they are. Yeah, all right. And it, it stops really well. Perfect. Very well. I mean, it's 3.7 ton loaded. Is it? No, I don't. So but it's you heavy. know when we've got yeah. water and diesel on. Yeah. Three point, yeah, we've got a GVM upgrade to a 3.9 ton on this. And uh, you've got a catch can here, is it? Catch can, pre-fuel. Pre-fuel filter and an enclosed air box. Yeah. Uh, put a water cooled intercooler in. Uh, alternator, alternator in. Yep. And, um, and then you got an ARB compressor, by the look of it, over the oh other there, side. Yeah, and just a, a new single battery on this and with a relay to stop the camper drying power from here. Yeah. So when you switch yeah. the ignition off, it's separate. So it isolates it all? Yeah, yeah. yeah, nice. yeah. Uh, and the gas struts, I'm yeah, I'm a big fan. I haven't got these yet. I reckon that'd be brilliant. Oh, it's, it's for us. I mean, look at me trying to reach this and, and to put this bastard in. <laughs> Just done, you know. I have to have a stool. <laughs> Perfect. But um, yeah, it's all right. Um, so you haven't done any um, any power upgrades or tunes or anything? I need to with the snorkel and the airbox. Honestly, it was, it was a different car. Yeah. Just with that, and, and, and a three inch steel exhaust um, to get the air out. So you've got four, air, four inch pushing in, yeah. pushing it through that, and then you've got three inch to come yeah. out just to keep the back pressure on the turbo so the turbo do not overspool. Yeah, 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 nice. Yeah, you, you don't want too big at the back. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, uh, what suspension is that? A two inch lift? Two inch lift, um, it's a, well, it's not a two inch lift, it's a Lovell's 3.9 ton GVM upgrade just put brand new springs in at the front but it was it really went well um went like a train we've done six and a half thousand on this last trip we had a, a hilux before yeah and uh, you could feel the camper you could feel we was having a camper on the back this one we don't feel we've got anything really it's great wow. it's great it's that amazing. is that's really good yeah amazing gearbox in from gearbox 360 right and um that's made about Three or four hundred revs per minute difference. So it's out of 100, 110. Just because of the ratios. Yeah, it's yeah, a twenty percent yeah. bigger fifth gear, so it's like an overdrive, Is really. It? Yeah, right on. Um, you need to be going to use it. Yeah, ninety yeah. plus, you know. But then, but, once you get it in there, the revs just drop. Yeah, massively. Perfect. Yeah. Um, That's a really good idea. Yeah. Kept the air temperatures down, keeps the engine temperature down because it's not working as hard. Yeah. Um, I mean, over 6,000 kilometer, we've averaged about 16 liter per 100 kilometers. 
Wow, that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've we've carrying the camper as well, and we've done, that's you know, f- yeah, four wheel drive. It was in low, <laughs> <laughs> <Go to one. laughs> low gear. We we did we did we did all type of terrain, right? Uh, you know, wow, motorway, wow. but off road as well, beach and stuff like that. So that's the average over six thousand kilometers. So what wheels and tires did you uh, end up with? Mickey Thompson all terrain. Uh, all terrain, yeah. yeah. Um, because you know, predominantly the mileage is on the roads, yeah. And um, the mud terrains for us as a tourer, we don't really need them, yeah. No, nah, no, nah. but they've been great. We've had them down to 14 psa at the front and um, 18 17 at the back and on beach. And um, we've been over rocks, we've been in mud with all sorts, it's they've been great, brilliant. Well, moving down here, so what, what are there just like, um. Sunraysia steel wheels? Just a basic cheap steel wheel, yeah. They were um, 700 foot set or something, I don't yeah. know. And the good thing with those is if you get into strife out in the bush, you can bang them back together again. The, yeah, and the one and a half ton load yeah, per, right per wheel. Yeah. Then you got some steel they're rock sliders? Not, they're not full rock sliders, no, but they're a good strong steel slip, step. And the only ones I could get that went back underneath the box. Right. You yeah. know, because that's if you get jammed in there with a the rock, you've had it. Ah, oh, yeah, you have between your cabin yeah, there. Yeah, true. Um, and that just helped stop that happening. We put longer rotor arms in because um, of the radius lift. arms. Radius arms, yeah. Sorry. So yeah, I've been thinking about that just because my my tires rub at the back on the metal. So when you put those in, that just corrected that a bit, did it? Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Up. A bit too much because that's when it started <laughs> to rub <laughs> at the front. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How much far forward did it bring them? Probably an inch. Did it? Mm, half an inch, maybe. And where where did you get those from? Um, they're J Max. Oh, are they too? Right. Yeah, on. I like J Max. We put in the um, J Max diff wideners. The track um, correction. Track yeah. correction. Um, so that's else? a whole new diff. Yeah. Yeah. And you kept the leaves. So you went to springs. Kept the leaves. Yeah, nice. Uh, we put in a locker as well, an e-locker, eating locker at the front back. and back, or no, just, just on the back. back? Yeah. The front's weak, yeah. weaker, weaker. So we don't need it. I mean, the, the difference with a back locker, it'll clow up anything anyway. Yeah, of course it will. And the the um, flex at the back is amazing. It really, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, t- the wheels come out to about thirty degrees, you know, on the tip. Yeah. The front's crap. <laughs> so you feel like you're gonna, you feel <laughs> yeah, like yeah. you're gonna go. They've got the flex of a brick. So my I'm, one. I'm putting some extensions on the sway bar, two inch extension. Oh yeah. So that'll give us an extra two inch. Swivel on there. Yeah, nice. We'll get round the back in a minute. While we're here, what about in the cab? Wow. Roof console, centre console, stage four deadening from car builders. Speakers in the doors. S- speakers and pods in the doors. Uh, one stone armrests. Extra cup uses. holders because they only come with one. Well, it's nice for the elbow as well. Yes. And you've got, by the look of it, a big Polaris head unit in there. Polaris head unit. Few few problem with it. Yeah. Connectivity is terrible. Uh, right. We've got Apple phone and they just keep dropping out, so we've got to reset it all the time. It's, it's Nightmare. The it's not really good. Time. Not very good. But the biggest problem I think with them is, especially if you do four-wheel drive corrugated road, is that you see the head unit is too heavy, and the uh, under corrugation oh, it, it vibrates and, and it just drops down. Does it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. So we had to kind of put some cushioning underneath to try to hold it in place. I don't know how long it's going to last. So no, I wouldn't buy it again for sure. I'll, when it breaks, we'll get something different. And then with uh, the sign deadening, yes. that makes a big difference. Um, yes, it does. As long as your windows are shut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, and heat-wise, I've noticed that the air conditioning seems to be like so much more effective. Wow. And your feet don't get hot. Yes. yes. And you don't get that noise from the left-hand side that when you're giving it something forth or whatever, you don't yeah. you don't get that noise. It's just quieter. And then oh, I just noticed you've got a reversing camera up there yep, too. Yep, that's right. Yeah, pretty good. Um, it's basically a constant, uh, just rear constant re- rear vision mirror. Works. Yeah. It works really well. It's an Autovox one. Right. We had it for about three years. It works all right. Nice. Yeah. That's that's very a very nice place to be by the looks of it. It's very looks very comfortable. A lot better than the farm truck it was, yeah. <laughs> so moving back, we'll get to the canopy in a minute, but you've I see you've got a spare wheel here, just keeping all the weight forward of the axle. As much as possible, yeah. Um we've got a large uh, storage box on that side as well, so that keeps we put all our heavy tools in there, our food, you know, tins and stuff. 
beers. <laughs> Go yeah, up the front. So keep the weight up the front. You're talking 100 kilos, just in those two things. That's really good. And then what about, so that's what, toolbox here, then water tank underneath? No water tank in underneath. The water tanks are in the canopy. There's oh, like true. 140 litres in the canopy. Wow, that's plenty of water. Oh, yeah. yeah. It lasts us 10 days with showers. Yeah. I'm very keen to see inside this canopy, but before we get there, so uh, this tray, it wasn't part of the canopy, it's a separate no, tray you got yeah, built? the tray was um, custom built by um, Dynamic Engineering at Harvey Bay. Um, George and his team up there have, have built two two trays for us and two boxes for us now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, customer service is brilliant, value's unbeatable, it's worth a four and a half hour drive. Four and, a half hour drive. and you went steel or alloy? It's alley heavy duty. If you look underneath and the um, where it's mounted on, there's four large aluminium mounts. They're the best mounts I've seen to the trays. Often that's the weak spot. We've bounced it around. It's been on its side um, and it hasn't moved. It's bolted to the tray and we have those on as well. Yeah, okay, so you're doubled up the safety. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's time, I think. We better get into this. <laughs> yeah. Camper and sure. have a look at I'm, I, I've seen these or I've never seen inside one. All right, okay. I, I think this is just a great idea. It's they're awesome. I mean, you can get them as customized, you know, as you want, but or you can get them as empty as you want as well. So it's really up to what you want to do. We chose to have the kitchen fully fitted, but on that side, we left it fairly empty. And over the last couple of years, we've just building it the way we want it. You know, to have it, so we've done a bit of you know wooden work there. Yeah, yeah. You will see. Uh, we've got a uh, kick-ass uh, shower tent right. as well there, yeah. which is which is quite handy. And uh, I'll just yeah. open this up then, right? So uh, yeah, as I say, we've just built some custom shelves. Uh, so we've got quite a lot of storage on top here. Uh, we've got storage underneath as well here for you know thinner items, which is quite handy, and then more storage here. We've bought, we've just invested in a free, fridge freezer. This is from, um, from uh, King's. It was only like 500 bucks and it's been awesome. It's been set to minus 10, right? Yeah. And it's kept the food frozen. It's been awesome. I'm really pleased to hear that because I just put one of these exact fridges oh, in my car yeah. about two weeks yeah. ago. I, I'm amazed. I'm amazed how robust. Really? Yeah, That's yeah, it's really good. So we'll see. I mean, we only used it for about eight weeks, so we, we'll see how we go. So you use this mostly time. as a freezer all the time? Freezer yeah, all the time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll and the fridge is... We have a fridge on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the beer fridge on the other side. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, that's Excellent. Right. That's Excellent. right. So here, don't, try to make the most of the space, really. So here, this is to basically put shoes in. Right. Right. So we can use, because that was like a bit of a dead, dead space. Yeah. Uh, this is to clean our solar panel, very important. Yes. Um, and People don't think of that much. Yeah. Because the solar panel nearly, not nearly as efficient when they get a bit of dust exactly. and dirt on the mother. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And we've been in quite a lot of dust. Yeah, so, okay. Yes. So as Keith mentioned, we've got two 75 litre tanks. So that's the filler for it up there. That's the filler, one, yeah. one on either side. So there are two separate tanks we can you know, hook them together if we want, or we can keep them separate. Right. That's quite handy. So if we want to have, you know, very clean, drinkable water on one, and maybe non-potable water on this one, we can nice. do that as well if we yeah. want to. The shower runs from this That's tank. right. That's right. right. The right shower up. comes in here, and there is a little pump in there, a kick-ass oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. shower, that we can then connect to the kick-ass hot water system. On that's the very clever. So that's so that's a water tap coming yeah, up, that's right? right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, uh, that's quite handy. So we just run it and go back to the front. So that would be a bit of a disaster. Oh, look at that. So that's obviously all your wet stuff, recovery gear, stuff yeah. that you don't want to put in the canopy. Exactly. But you know what? Bit of a tool We've shed. In the most dust. Look at that. Yeah. No dust at all. It's it's like that's that. just the way it is. That's the way it's been. So we haven't been in water, but in dust, it's been dust proof. It's been great. Yeah. It's great. That's that's really good. Really, really, really good. good. Right. So this is this is the the home away from home so you got your living room in here your bed everything so we've got great bed that was my requirement i i, I didn't mind going to do some four-wheel driving being the, in the bush i need a bed that was my requirement so we get a really good bed it's probably better than the one we've got at i'm home. just looking at here so that looks like a proper big inner strung mattress yep. up there that's yeah. right that's right yeah very posh yeah that's very fancy yeah. queen size 
And then we've got two big drawers underneath to j for just to store our clothes, etc. Yeah, right huh? yep, yeah. Yep. So, and then you can see the electrical system is, is there. So that was going to, yeah, I wanted to ask you about your 12 volt. Yep. So, we've got um, 200 amps of lithium. Uh, of lithium. Yep. Okay. We've got a 2000 watt inverter. Right. So, obviously, we've got an end drive uh, DC to DC converter. So, yep. we can charge from the car. So, that's putting out what, 40 amps, 30, is it? 30, 30 amps. amps. Yep. And we've got 200, no, 300 watt solar panel on the roof. Right. And I've also added another DC to DC converter to have a, to have a portable solar panel as well. Gotcha. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes you see we want to park in the shade because it's too hot. Yes. Yeah. So then we lose the solar completely. So that we wanted to have a solar panel that we could deploy a little bit yeah. further so away from. So if you're in the shade, you can have it out yeah. in the sun on like a 10 exactly. meter quarter. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. So uh, so it's been great. It's yeah. been great. Yeah. If yeah, I'd like to get a bit more. Bigger, a bigger battery if I could. So when when that one goes, yeah. it will be a bit great. But it's been it's been powering up the the freezer, the fridge. Uh, we use kettle because Keith likes his cup of teas. Well, so he's pommy fell. Of course, he likes his cup right. of teas. That's right. So it's been it's been <laughs> using using a lot of that, and obviously charging you know laptop phones etc. It's been great. Yeah, it's been really really good. It looks sensational. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is very impressive. Really is it heavy? Is the canopy heavy? 500 kilos, about 500? 450 to 500, uh, obviously unloaded, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that is with the, the fridge in there. So I think when it's fully loaded, we, we're probably Water. close to between seven and 900 kilos. Yeah, fully but loaded, uh, right? With food, with everything. Right? But a lot of that weight's going to be quite low, low down. There's not too much up there. No. So just oh, sorry. finish the hot water system there. Oh, here we go. Door. I didn't even see that there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So that just stays there, and you put your hose onto the tank right. just there, and that's right. Oh, that's perfect. Right. But I don't recommend the key cars. You don't? No. Nah. Right. Just, just a very bad engineering floor there. Look how close those two guys are. Oh yeah. It's just yeah. a pain in the butt. Not very good. So no, I want to have an electrical, an electric shower instead of gas. Be nice. have you, what do you cook on at the minute? Is it gas? Gas, yeah. Well, have, you, have you thought about induction? Yeah, but again, I'd, then I would need more to batteries. More yeah, batteries. Yeah, that's fair enough. So yeah, and more solar and yeah, drive it more right. to charge it up. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Agreed. So. Just before you open it up, so these are obviously for your max tracks that's here right. as well. Yeah. Yep. yep, max tracks on the door. So obviously, uh, 270. Big 270 uh, to go around the back and right. the top. And yep. you can still have that open yep. and climb up in. All right. Wow. So yeah, so that's the kitchen. So we just take the the one table. So this is here. a sink. Yep, that's a sink. Wow. Yeah. And then we this just is way better than my setup. <laughs> we just we just added um, this table here because you see we had to lift the camper a little bit by by we had to gotcha. put the spacer on it. Yes. So we took the opportunity. <laughs> Sorry, That's to, to add, to add a, yeah. under the table there, I get so that. It, it gives us a big, big area. So yes, the sink is in here. Little travel buddy. Yes. There. Yeah. So do you, this is a this is an oven. Yeah. Because I got one of these. No one made. It's called a warmer. So it's not a warmer. It's an oven. Yeah, it's a warmer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's honest. No. Uh, uh, if, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's for all. leftovers, just putting leftovers in. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. So this is uh, this was done by Tommy Camper, this okay. kitchen. So we took the whole lot and with all the shelves, etc. Right. And quite happy with the way it's set up. We've got obviously all the electric switches in here. Yes. And then we've basically put the the, the inverter, the GPO, yeah, and the, in there. Yeah, nice. In there as well, and yeah. a small fridge, very yeah. small, um, but. Good oh, enough. It's for deep the, though. Yeah. 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 Good enough for the two of us. Yeah. And with the freezer. You got plenty. Great. Yeah. And you can really be off good. grid for as long as you want. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. And then finally, this is the last little box we've added. Uh, that's just for more storage, really. So uh, it still needs to be built a little bit more. When you had this on the Hilux, because it was a dual cab, that's yeah. where the tray exactly. ended. So yeah. you. So this was a really good use of space too, yep. then to have extra storage. Yep. Yeah, yeah. right on. You can, we can put so much stuff in there, it's great. It is, isn't it? It's a really good big good. space. That's yeah. a, yeah. yeah. And again, forward of the, so you've thought about the whole thing. Yeah. Everything's 
yeah. balanced and low and exactly yeah, yeah trying to do that and then with the tap here as well for oh, the kitchen. Oh, okay, so yeah. you can work from the kitchen here. Yeah, so that's gravity fed. This one is gravity right. fed. Right, yeah. And that comes out of this tank? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you both very much for that. That's um, an absolute eye-opener of what can happen to a 79 series with the Tommy Camper on it. So, yeah. where's your next trip? Well, we don't know yet, but uh, we wanted to go to the Simpson Desert. Uh, right. really, that's on my bucket list for sure. But uh, ours is so much to see, so much to see. I thought on table land was awesome and when I was looking at what we've missed, we've missed so much, we could go back there again for another two, three months and Brilliant. be happy. Well, their channel is 4 Before Explore. I'm going to link it down below. Get on there, subscribe to these guys because they're going to do some awesome trips in this absolutely awesome car. Thank you both again for letting us have a look around yep. and uh, we'll see you out there. Thank you.